the use case for crypto is different in Argentina than it is in the United States, as you were saying before. Argentina, it's more of a hedge against inflation and ridiculousness that's happening within your own currency versus in the U.S. It's, you know, more driven like I'm going to race this up to the top and see which one moons first. But, you know, I, I think it's very interesting, the entire story of Argentina, because when Nicolas came and we were talking about developing countries and how currencies just hyperinflate overnight, um, the, the, the reason why I think this is interesting is because I think that these are precursors to what's going to happen to more, more and more countries around the world. And, you know, the United States is sort of hedged against this because they kind of run the economics behind the world. But people in the United States need to be aware also that the same things that happen to countries that are falling apart as far as their currencies can happen to Western nations as well, big conglomerates and European nations, their their currencies can fall under too. So, you know, I'm not saying that the US dollar is going to hyperinflate overnight, but there could be a situation where hyperinflation does does occur. I mean, we we have a lot of debt and that that could definitely could be an issue. So I have a quick question for you as far as use case. So are people just using Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as hedges against inflation? Or do they see more potential in different use cases? Because last week we were speaking to um, we were speaking to John or earlier this week. And he was saying that there are blockchain solutions for um, whether it um, whether it's uh, supply chain management or putting real estate on blockchain. Do you see some of these use cases happening in Argentina? And can you elaborate if they are happening? Yes, yes. Um, so first of all, I want to say that even though this not this doesn't happen in your in our, in the states, what I think it's a good opportunity for all of us. I mean, the whole humanity to think about these topics. Before cryptocurrencies, I wasn't used to think about economics, uh, social impact, and think about the government, the banks. Do they make sense? Do do countries make sense somehow? Um, so before cryptocurrencies, I was just a person. Uh, looking for technology, but now, I mean, it opened my mind. So uh, I think cryptocurrencies is, are, uh, are, or blockchains are a uh, call to all the people around the globe to start thinking about those issues. And related to use cases, yes, um, a really good use case for, at least for Argentina, is related to uh, transparency because we have a lot of corruption. Um, and it's really into the government, you know? It's not just about private companies' corruption, which you can always find those kind of cases, but uh, the government is quite corrupt. Um, and that's bad. I mean, it, corruption affects not just someone that gets richer, but it affects the people's lives. Uh, people get, the, uh, uh, poor people that doesn't get uh, proper health systems, Probably it's because that money was used to pay uh, some bribe or anything related to corruption, right? So uh, transparency, it's a really good use case for blockchains. And we have been working with some projects related to that. Also, um, as you said, uh, asset tracking is a really good use case. Also, uh, creating these payment systems, avoiding third parties. Uh, it's also a really good use case. Uh, document notarization, another one. Uh, but those are more related to uh, companies and private institutions that want to get uh, into blockchain uh, world. Um, but if you ask me about the, 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 the social impact that blockchain pro produces, we can say social inclusion and financial inclusion. Uh, one thing that it's getting really popular here is about uh, identity, being able to store and own your own identity with using a blockchain-based technology, uh, because we have a lot of uh, plans here in Argentina to help poor people. So if we can track and let the users uh, handle their own information, they can get better services. Um, so yeah, there are a lot of kind of projects in here uh, and they are really interesting, and we are we are still discovering new ones. For example, as you mentioned, uh, real estate—it's a really good one because 
imagine this uh, real estate here it's quite uh, expensive as probably in in in, the, in all in most of the uh, countries uh, but what if i have some savings and i want to start investing on something but I, I i can't because i cannot buy a flat it's too expensive what if i could uh, instead of investing in the whole flat i can just buy a small fraction of it uh, a couple of meters, square meters that I, I can pay with my savings. So those kind of uh, use cases are getting stronger in, in Argentina as well.